Hi, I'm Brandon Grant, Marketing Director here at QuoteWorks. Today we're going to demonstrate how you can use the QuoteWorks Paste Special functionality to import quotes you receive from vendors or to import quotes that have been created outside of QuoteWorks into QuoteWorks with just a few clicks. Paste Special is a fantastic tool to utilize to copy and paste data from an Excel quote into your document in QuoteWorks. The best part is it's really easy to use and it's included with every edition of QuoteWorks. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step when utilizing Paste Special is go ahead and open your document in Excel. Go ahead and open up that quote, that vendor quote, or if you created the quote in Excel, go ahead and open it up first. The reason that we're doing that is we want to copy the line item information before we start using Paste Special to our clipboard. So I'm going to see my line item information and highlight it. And you'll see here, I only need to highlight the information that's going to be important and then right click, copy or control C. And you'll see you have your item information copied to your clipboard. I don't need this other information. I don't know. I don't need the company information. If there's a quote number, I don't need to import any of that data. That's why we're just copying what's going to be important for us. Additionally, if you do have these headings, you can go ahead and skip those as well. Otherwise, you'll just have to remove them from the quote later. So it's easier just to copy just the line item information to your clipboard. So if we go back into QuoteWorks and then we click on our edit menu or you can right click as well and choose Paste Special, this will open up the Paste Special Wizard window. From the Paste Special Wizard, you'll have three options. Basic, which is a start one step Paste Special. Advanced, which offers two options, start a new session or start a session using the settings of a template. For our example, we're gonna start with start a new session, but I will go through the other options here in just a moment. So now that we've selected our option, we're going to go ahead and click on next, and this will bring us to the source. This is where you're going to choose the actual data that is going to be loaded into the QuoteWorks quote. For us, we're going to use the copy data from Clipboard. This is the option I would recommend 100% of the time if possible. The reason for this, even though you have these other options, the copy data from Clipboard is going to give you the most accurate information. It's also going to be the easiest to import and it'll be the quickest to import as well. A lot of times companies or users will think that the copy data from a file will be the easiest to do because you're just going to import the entire file that your vendor or that one of the sales reps created that you're trying to pull into QuoteWorks. The only issue with that is that we're going to get to a mapping stage where we have to map the data from the Excel sheet with the correct columns in QuoteWorks. By copying the data to your clipboard, you are limiting the information that has to be mapped and therefore you're going to save a lot of time. So that's why when we initially started, we went to our Excel sheet and just copied the line item information to our clipboard. That way, that's all the information we have to map. We don't need the other information um, in here because that's already going to be in your QuoteWorks documents. We just need the line item information. That's what's going to be most important. So we're going to choose copy data from clipboard, click next. We'll see a confirmation that our data has in fact been copied to the clipboard. If you don't see anything here, it means you didn't copy anything or it didn't copy correctly. So go ahead and just open up your Excel sheet and recopy it to your clipboard and then choose next. This is where we'll get to the mapping section. So we're actually gonna walk through mapping the data that's on your clipboard to the corresponding column in QuoteWorks. So we're just gonna start from left to right and start on column one. So to map column one, you simply need to click on the actual column name, not down here where the data is, but the actual column name itself. And when you click on that, you'll see you have the option to select the field for column, and this is the corresponding QuoteWorks field. So if I don't know what column one is in my Excel sheet, I can go to my Excel sheet and open it up, and I'll see that column one is the quantity. So I wanna map the quantity from my Excel sheet to my quantity column in QuoteWorks. So I can scroll down, and it's all in alphabetical order and select quantity and now it's mapped. So now that information will be imported into this quantity column in my QuoteWorks installation. Column two, this is going to be my vendor part number column. So I can choose column two and a little shortcut for you when you're using the mappings, uh, if you click, for instance, like V on your keyboard, that'll bring you down to the alphabetical list of the V options. And then I can scroll down and quickly get to vendor part number. So a little shortcut there. Column three, this is going to be our manufacturer part number. So that's our manufacturer part number. So we go back, manufacturer part number, click M on my keyboard, get to manufacturer part number and select. And we'll scroll to the right to see the other columns here. 
Column four is going to be the item description. So we wanna click column four, click D on our keyboard for description and select. Now column five is going to be our, in this Excel sheet it says price because this is what I have to pay my vendor to purchase this item. I received this item from my vendor, I need to import it into QuoteWorks, but this is actually my cost. So I need to import this column into my unit cost field in QuoteWorks. So I'm gonna choose unit cost. Column six is just the unit cost times the quantity. That's an automatically calculated field in QuoteWorks, so I don't actually need to map that one, I can skip it. Or if you're gonna be using this template on a regular basis, because we're gonna create a, this as a template, so if this is a vendor that sends you a lot of quotes, you can actually choose to ignore this column. And what this does is it just visually indicates to you that you purposely ignored that column because you didn't wanna map it. That way you know the information in that column is not something that you need, instead of maybe it's a new column or something that you missed. Column seven, this is going to be the retail or the list price in QuoteWorks as we call it. So we'll choose column seven, unit list, and hit select. And then column eight is the availability for this particular, uh, these particular items. I'm not concerned with the availability. Uh, it's not something I need to show to the customer. It's not something I care about. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to ignore it. Um, if you had that and you wanted to import it in, we do have custom number fields that you can utilize. Uh, if it's text, maybe your vendor included some additional text that you wanted to include on the quote, you can map it to other custom text fields in QuoteWorks. So you have quite a, quite a few options for utilizing that mapping functionality. But for our, for our example here, I'm just gonna choose ignore. And then now that my mapping is completed, I have a couple other options that are gonna be available to me. The first option that's gonna be available is the pull product details from the product data source if available and apply the map field data. Uh, so what that basically means in English is that if any of these items have the manu same manufacturer part number as whichever product data source I select here, it will apply the updated items description, uh, possibly a picture if one's associated with it, basically anything that's in the product database already. So maybe your vendor has created a quote for you, but you've previously imported a price list and you've set up product pictures, maybe spec sheets associated with those items. That information will actually be included with these items when we import it because this import will actually cross-reference with that product data source. If you don't have a product data source from that particular vendor that you're importing these items, you can just leave that unchecked and you can skip that step. For those of you that are pulling in or importing quotes from the IT distributors such as Tech Data, Ingram Micro, Synex DNH, this option will actually update the items with information from Edelize, such as a product picture, customer friendly descriptions, things like that. The only limitation here is you need to make sure you have either the combination of the vendor and the vendor part number or the manufacturer and the manufacturer part number. You have to have two of those four fields mapped uh, in order for that functionality to work. And then click next. And then you have the option to append the items to the document or if you've inserted them at a specific spot, you can choose that option. Since I don't have any items on here, we'll just choose append. And then the very important step is going to be the option if you wanna save this as a template. So if this is kind of a one-off quote, you're never gonna get a quote in this format ever again, you can just hit no and then you can hit finish and that'll import the data into QuoteWorks. However, if this is a vendor you work with on a regular basis or someone who creates quotes for you on a regular basis that you need to import on a, um, often, what you can do is choose yes and then give the template a name. So for our example, I'll go ahead and call this our paste special example and we'll save it. And very important, make sure you save it so you get the little .qii, so that tells you that it's been saved. And then choose finish. And then we'll see here, four lines have been imported. I can view it. And then we'll see, I have an extra line here, so we'll just remove that. But this is the information that came over from my Excel sheet, and I can even cross-reference it. So if we wanted to just minimize this a little bit, we can see here's our correct quantities were imported in our correct descriptions, unit cost. 
Now the unit price field I didn't map. What it's using here is the default price modifier you have set in QuoteWorks under your tools options menu. Uh, it's gonna use the default price modifier for that. You can, however, map a price modifier if you'd like. You can also map a unit price if you'd like. This particular document didn't have a price, so I'm just using the default settings of my QuoteWorks installation. And you'll see here, even the unit list came over and was imported as well. Same thing as a manufacturer part number. So it's that easy to import that data directly into QuoteWorks from an Excel sheet. So one of the great features about the Pay Special is the ability to use templates. So we imported this document, but we had to go through the mapping and map each of those. So if this is a quote that I receive, or this format is a quote I receive from my vendors in a regular basis, I can actually go through and do this a little quicker next time and I'll have two options for that. So if we want to use a template, we're going to do kind of follow the same steps. So let's start with a brand new document here and we'll just use our existing document that we have open. So we'll copy our line item information to our clipboard, so right click and copy. And then we'll click on edit, paste special. And then you have another option. You can choose the start one step paste special. And what this will do is instead of you using um, and going through the mapping process, it'll actually use the settings of that template that you set previously. So if I hit finish here, you'll see it'll copy and paste directly as is. Now that works fantastic if your vendors always send you the exact same formatted template or quote each time. So if your vendor is very consistent and send you just these type of fields and forms and nothing ever changes, then the one step pay special will be a big time saver and you can use that as often as you'd like. However, with most vendors, they will make some minor modifications, they'll make some changes. So what you'll wanna use instead is if we start a new quote, click on edit, pay special, you, you'll actually wanna use the start session using the settings of a template. What this allows you to do is that when you select your template, you'll be brought back through the wizard so we'll copy the data from the clipboard again. However, you'll actually see all of your fields mapped. However, if your vendor has maybe flipped a field on you, maybe the unit cost is now the unit list and they flipped it or maybe they added a new column or removed a column, you'll have the option to remap and change and fix any of those mapping issues and not have to redo each of the mappings, just the individual mappings. And then once you go through that, just simply make those changes. And then if you wanna save over the existing template, you can do that. So we'll just overwrite it. We'll pretend we made a change. It'll save those changes moving forward and then I can hit finish and then it'll import my data in. So in summary, the Paste Special Wizard is a fantastic tool to utilize the importing and copying and pasting of data from outside quotes, whether it's from your vendors or reps or anyone who's creating quotes outside of QuoteWorks you can get them in an Excel sheet and then you can easily import them directly into QuoteWorks. Things to keep in mind, the documents do have to be in Excel. So if you do receive like a CSV file, you simply need to convert it or save it as an Excel file. And then we can import it into QuoteWorks using the Paste Special. Thanks for watching.